My name is Bill Branch. I work for the Office of Environmental Design at State Highways and I am the environmental manager for the Hampstead Bypass Project in Carroll County. As you travel the Hampstead Bypass in the future, look to your left and to your right. Uh, you're very likely to see goats grazing down in our wetland pastures and uh, for a little further along you'll see the plantation where we've partnered with the Maryland chapter of the American Chestnut Foundation and uh, further along you'll see the big expanse of, of older woods that we're protecting. We are protecting the uh, bog turtle which is a threatened species protected by federal law. Uh, we have uh, acquired properties on which the bog turtle has a wetland that it's actively using and uh, we're doing some management activities on the vegetation. Typically in state highways we would employ crews of labor and contractors with herbicides and machinery to do the work but because of the sensitivity of the environment we're working in and because we're working with an endangered species we had to think of a more passive, a more a softer approach, if you will, of how to manage that vegetation. We took a look around and, uh, and discussed this with some bog turtle experts, and the solution we came up with was a passive grazing technique, typically used by farmers, and employing herds of goats and sheep that would browse the vegetation uh, yet not disturb the wetland to the degree that contractors and equipment and machinery would and would not need to employ the use of herbicides in the wetland. In doing bog turtle surveys we came upon the fact that uh, one of our wetlands harbors habitat for the Baltimore checker spot butterfly. Uh, this butterfly is the state insect. It's a very pretty butterfly, small butterfly and very rare. Uh, so what we've done is take a look at the life history of the butterfly and introduce plants that are needed for one of the life history stages where the butterfly lays its eggs and produces its larvae before uh, changing into the butterfly that we know and love. And we're standing at the site of a planting, partnership planting, that's being done today with the American Chestnut Foundation, students from the North Carroll High School, and State Highway Administration personnel. Hi, I'm Gary Carver. I'm president of the Maryland chapter of the American Chestnut Foundation. And we're really excited with our partnership with the uh, State Highway Administration here. We're standing in an orchard where we've just planted a bunch of different kinds of chestnut trees. We're making this orchard this year an experimental uh, sort of uh, educational orchard. Well, the purpose of this is to uh, provide for a living laboratory for students to come and observe different strains of the chestnut tree from the Chinese chestnut to the hybrids of the American chestnut that are being developed for their blight resistance. About a hundred years ago a blight fungus uh, came from Asia and it affected the American chestnut trees very drastically. It killed most of them. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of genetic work being done to uh, reestablish a viable American chestnut tree back into the East Coast forests that will not be susceptible to the blight, which was the cause of the loss of over four billion trees on the East Coast. The blight fungus was probably brought here on landscape trees, because around the turn of the century it was fashionable to have what people called oriental plants. And uh, Chinese chestnut trees were, were imported and some of them brought the blight here. The American trees were totally uh, susceptible to the blight and almost all the American chestnut trees died during the intervening uh, decades since then. Uh, there was a major damage uh, to the ecosystems when this happened. The American chestnut was a primary food source for not only uh, colonial uh, pioneers but for a vast array of wildlife that inhabited the forests of the East Coast during colonial times. We are bringing the chestnut tree back by breeding a tree that is resistant to the blight fungus.
and we will be planting blight-resistant American chestnut trees. Now these blight-resistant trees are, are the result of 26 years of backcross breeding by the American Chestnut Foundation, and this site will be one of the sites in Maryland where we will plant the, a restoration planting, we're calling it, where the trees will be plant, enough trees will be planted so that they will be overproduce nuts so to overwhelm the squirrels and be able to start spreading the American chestnut tree back into the eastern forest and, and it's going to happen, it's going to start here right, in, right at this State Highway Administration orchard. I hope you have an opportunity to take the time to see some of these things. We at State Highways enjoy doing these environmental stewardship projects that bring a better environment to the people that live in the areas where we build our roads.